Well, I'm all packed up here. And to say packed up, I'm using the term loosely. I've thrown all my gear here. I am heading west to Minnesota for a public land hunt. It's about a thousand mile trip, and I'm actually gonna be meeting another group of guys here out town. We're gonna consolidate all our stuff here into one pickup truck. So wish us luck getting four guys stuff into one truck when my stuff barely fits in the back of this truck. Our plan is to drive straight through all night. We will get there the day before their firearms opener is. Uh, we're gonna do some speed scouting that day, get our license, get settled in, and then we'll be there for opening day. It is, we're hunting the southern half of the state, so it is, uh, the area we're hunting actually is a shotgun muzzleloader area. So we are toting our shotguns. Uh, I think we have everything. When you travel a thousand miles, you wanna make sure you didn't forget anything. So hopefully I didn't. So follow along, wish me luck, and maybe I'll be able to tag a Minnesota buck on public land. today. Come into the areas. I uh, kind of hate to go into your spot right before the opener, but you have to check for sign, uh, maybe check for other people pressure when you're hunting public land. I kind of settled on this area. Uh, it seems like a good transition. Bedding here in front of me, and then with the tall grasses here, we have a couple creek cross crossings that head this way up behind me here have some more open hardwoods but we got a transition line over here again i think that'll funnel the deer uh it seems they like to work the transitions so i think i can get myself in that tree in the morning uh, the only thing the wild card is you don't know how much human pressure is going to be. I'd imagine we're going to see some other hunters, but that's part of hunting public land. I'm about as far from the access areas as I can be. Uh, you just one thing you can never tell how much hunting pressure you're going to see. A lot of cover here for them to bed in, so I'm going to do some more snooping around here looking for sign, and then we're going to get out of here and be back in the dark tomorrow morning. thing I like to do is to pick out plan B and sometimes plan C. 
you never know uh, when somebody else is going to be near your spot or you have to have another backup plan ready so there's a little transition line between the ag fields over in the private and then the thicker stuff here is on public so pick a looking to pick another spot here that I can have in my hip pocket for plan B and plan C. Well, I'm finding some sign here. There's a perfect bed here. And if you follow that trail, you can see a rub right there. So there's a positive sign. Just walking around here looking for some, some recent signs. Looks like there's at least some potential here. Well, it's just cracking light here. Opening day, Minnesota firearm season. Excitement's about at its climax. This is what we've been waiting for. Saturday, November 3rd. It's a beautiful morning out here. I'm gonna get quiet and hopefully some deer moving. I saw a couple, a couple red lights coming in here to the south of me. It's down in the dark, but I don't see any orange now that it got daylight, so time will tell. Just saw that first my first doe there, sneaking down through the grass. Had a less than stellar start to my hunt getting in here this morning. Had some gear trouble. Had some contigo trouble. My entire contigo dumped out in my hunting pack. Which was a fun game of digging through your pack and seeing which articles of clothing got soaked with coffee and which ones survived. I currently have no dry gloves, so fun, fun, but putting all that aside, my entire day was just made perfect through the power of technology. My son just texted me a picture of a great buck he shot with his bow back in Pennsylvania. Gonna pause my Minnesota hunt right here and we'll get back to it in just a few moments. I didn't know it at the time, but my hunt out there was about to get real exciting in just a few minutes. Uh, and my son back here in Pennsylvania had just shot his Pennsylvania archery buck. We had a trail camera in the area and I'm gonna show you some of his hunt through the video we got from that trail camera. Over the summer we had put in a Ted Miller style horizontal rub we just initially put the post in and then came back in October put in the horizontal limb made a mock scrape and put an overhanging licking branch Ty didn't know it at the time but the buck he shot that morning was on trail camera four days prior and had checked out the setup the morning of the hunt was miraculous in itself if anybody knows anything about late teens boys I was away in Minnesota, of course, and he was able to set his alarm and actually get up on his own and head out to the stand. You can see him here getting into the stand. He was in decent time, still dark out. I'm impressed with that. And he gets settled in. 
the next video on the SD card when we checked it were these two doe coming in to check out the mock scrape. Now you can't tell from this video but Ty has a doe tag and he is more than willing to kill the first mature doe that gives him the opportunity. This would appear as though he has a good opportunity but why don't we rewind this video here a little bit and break this down a bit. So now if we check out this video a little closer we can take notice of a couple of things here. The doe is definitely broadside to the hunter up there in the tree but said hunter looks to be in a seated position. Bow is hanging on the hook here you can see and if you look closely the hunter appears to be bending over slightly having both hands cupped holding something. It would appear to be a device of some sort, possibly a phone maybe distracting the hunter from said doe directly below him giving him a great shot opportunity. Now we don't want to pick on Ty too hard because I'm sure it has happened to the best of us and just not always on camera but this is too good to pass up so we had to rib Ty a little bit. He does actually notice the doe at some point and then slowly stands and comes a full draw but the doe was in a thick area by that time and even though she was within distance he couldn't really get a shot and elected to pass which I'm proud of him for not taking a less than perfect shot. So but the doe did serve as a wake up call and I'm assuming he was on high alert then and had put his device away and focused on hunting. As you can see now the buck appears and Ty is ready. If you look closely, he comes to full draw, and I'll let the video speak for itself from there. Ty makes a great shot. The buck runs approximately 40 yards, and he sees it fall over right within sight. Now the celebration begins. He makes some texts, phone calls, spreads the news of his uh, accomplishment, and then climbs down to go retrieve his prize. Great hunt. He's excited and I'm excited for him. So regardless of what happens the rest of my day, it's been a perfect day already.
Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> that was a bit of a, a bit of a circus there for a little bit. He came down this transition line, maybe 60, 70 yards away. I knew a clue I was there, but then he got in some brush and it was gonna get crazy there for a little bit. I hit him first shot. I don't know how good he definitely was hobbling some. He ran out of the brush there and stood. My second shot, I think I totally missed. And then the third shot, I took took my time and hit him again, so I know, and he went down, so I could just so see him go down. So, that got me excited. So happy, I love it. I just love it. Bird. Just climbed down out of my tree here. The bucket came right down there in that direction. And I shot him right over in that stuff there. Grab my gun, my stand, and make my way over to the buck there. Should shouldn't be hard to find him. Well, here's my 2018 Minnesota buck. Nice eight point here. He has a little bit of a broken off brow, but pretty, pretty nice buck. I'm tickled pink with him. It's always rewarding when you can come in here, hang and hunt, put your tag on a public land buck. Uh, makes the thousand mile drive worthwhile. It was a short hunt. I only had shooting light for about 45 minutes when he came working the working the wood line there beside me. He made it interesting. He got into some thick brush for me. Uh, my bullets were hitting, hitting some branches there and everything else it seemed like old chaos was breaking loose there for a bit, but tickled pink to put my tag on him. I'm proud of this buck.